In today's video, we're gonna be walking through ServiceMate. I'm gonna take you through the web version, then the mobile app. We'll look at the pros and cons of the software, and then we'll take a look at the pricing. So by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea on how to use ServiceMate and the value that it can bring to your business. So let's dive in. So this is the main dashboard. Right at the top here, you can see a bunch of quick actions that'll take you to where you need to go within the software. And then down here, you have a bunch of tutorials to get your account set up. ServiceMate has a lot of content to walk you through getting your account set up and getting you started fast so that you can implement the software in your business. So just quickly to walk, run through these quick actions. So this is your dispatch board. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. It's where you manage jobs and track them through the full life cycle from quoting to becoming a work order, scheduling and then invoicing. History is where you can see a history of all of your previous jobs and you can manage them in this tab. Obviously you can see your clients here. Features and integrations. ServiceMate has a lot of add-ons that will make the software a lot more powerful and you can customize it to the way that you need to run your business. So that's great to have. And then materials and services, you can upload your price book. You can bulk edit all of the line items here as well as I'll show you when you're creating a quote, you can easily pull line items from your price book. Uh, you can see your invoices, see different reports, as well as get help and access the knowledge base. Uh, and then settings are just general settings for your company. And then you can also edit templates and do various other things here. We'll first start off in the dispatch board and I'll walk you through a job life cycle here. So this is what it'll look like this is where again you'll spend most of your time you'll schedule jobs on the right here you'll see all of the active jobs and you can drag and drop them onto the scheduler this is your where you can see all your staff members and so we'll go ahead and click into a new job you're going to enter your client name or you can create a new client directly from here you'll enter their address and then obviously our current status, we're in the quoting phase. As you move through the job life cycle, you'll change the status and then it'll change this color, this colored banner up here so you can see what status the job is in. So obviously you're gonna enter a, a job description. ServiceMate just recently redesigned this whole job card to make it a lot more functional for the user. And just one of those feature, new features to note is in this description field, if you have a large description for the job, it will expand to the full text so you can see everything at a quick glance instead of just that tiny window, which is nice. And then moving further down, you can have all of your checklist items here. So you have, if you have multiple steps for a job, you can enter them here. You can even add if you have different aspects of the job. You can create that. You can create a new checklist for each aspect of the job. And then you can see this in real time on the mobile app so that you can quickly go ahead and just check things off as you work through the job in the field. You'll see your client details down here. Also, what's nice is everything that you enter in here automatically saves, so you don't have to keep clicking extra buttons for it to save. You can also undo things. Here, you'll see all of the history of what you've worked on in this job. You can edit that history as well. You can enter notes. And then on the far right here, you can, if you take any videos or photos in the field, they'll populate here. And you can upload any files pertinent to the job here as well. So that's really handy to have. So let's go ahead and quote this job. Again, we'll add a description. And then here's like what I was saying, you can pull line items from your material price book, service price book, and add them here quickly. Um, and then when you're ready to send this off to your client, you can either email them or text them. And this email template is customizable. So I'll show you if you go to settings, you can, you can edit all of these templates to your liking. Also down here, this little feature, it'll help you write. You can improve your writing, you can have it right for you, you can shorten or lengthen the text as well. So that's that's handy to have. And once you send it off and your client approves it, you'll then click accept. And again, this banner changes to blue 
So now it's in the work order phase for you to go ahead and get it scheduled. So here you can drag and drop jobs onto the timeline and you can edit the duration as well. Now at this point, you'll work off of the mobile app and you'll head over to the job. Once you get there, you'll, you'll start tracking your time. And then when you're done, you'll click finish and close out the job. And at that point, it'll be changed to completed and it'll be ready to invoice your client. So if you go over to billing, you'll click send invoice. This will send the invoice to the client and you'll get paid. So once your client pays the invoice, you go over here and add payment and record the payment here. Additionally, if you, you can connect your accounting software to ServiceMate, I think one of the main ones they use is zero with an X. So you can integrate that here and your invoice transactions will get imported there. So you can manage that through this software as well. Additionally, when you're first creating a job, you know, if a client either emails you or texts you or calls you, you can go ahead and manually create this new job. Um, you can also through, through an add on, you can set up a, an online booking page to your website or Facebook page so that clients can enter their information, their job details, their contact details, and then you'll get an email to your inbox uh, and then you can convert that inquiry into a job. So you do have that option to streamline leads coming in uh, and job creation. All right, so moving on here, uh, we'll, we'll jump to these other tabs at the top. If we go to invoicing, this is the invoice that we just created for that TV mounting project. And here, this is what the reports tab looks like. So you can create a bunch of different reports to track various things in your business. And we'll go to account. This is again, just the history job history where you can see all of your jobs, you can remove them or open them from here. This is your client list. What's nice too is you can bulk edit your clients and do various functions here. You can open them and edit their information. You can see their billing details and their previous job history. Moving on, we'll go to features and integrations. And this is a big pro for ServiceMate. They have a lot of add-ons and some of the notable ones here are this automation integration. So you can automate various tasks within the software to reduce the amount of time that you have to spend on certain things. So for instance, like sending client reminders of an upcoming job, as well as sent following up on quotes and estimates and things like that. You can also add reviews to automatically get sent out. And you can also integrate with Zapier. So you can automatically create jobs and automatically create clients from other apps. There's a, a MailChimp integration here as well. And a lot of these are available on the free plan. So we'll get into pricing a little bit later, but that's a really great function to have on the free plan. So you can manage marketing campaigns and things like that. All right. So... I'll just show you what the materials and services look like. So this is your price book station. You, know, you can edit various line items and you can also bulk increase prices as well, which is handy. And we'll finally go to settings and check out the functionality that you have here too. So additionally, if you turn on any of the add-ons, in this marketplace, they'll populate here. So you can see all of them here and, and manage them within settings. So as I mentioned earlier, you can edit your email templates and they have uh, a default template for various parts here. So like if you have an overdue payment, your invoice or a quoting template as well, you can add say like a, a, a technician delay template and various others as well. So that's really handy to have when you send a message, you can auto populate or add these in without having to type out a new message each time. All right, so across the bottom, we have activity, jobs, notifications, and more. Starting off with this activities tab, this is where you can communicate with your team and share various pieces of information with your team. So you can message other technicians. Here we have some, some default setup videos from ServiceMate, but you can 
post your own updates, anything you want to share with the team that other members in the field will see as well. You can also clock into your shift. So that's a good starting point. <clears throat> Moving over to jobs. This is kind of the main dashboard for jobs. You can see the various statuses here and anything in the queue, parts on order, pending quotes, things like that. And your staff, you can see the calendar, what jobs you have scheduled and your job list as well. And then again, they're color coded to see, to show which status they're in. You can also create a new job, quote or invoice. And going back to this main dash, if you edit, you can kind of toggle on or off which features you want to see. And so we'll click into today's job. This shows all the information in the job card here that we put into the job card on the web. So customer name and address and the name of the job. You have your billing, all of your line items and pricing. And you can even view the quote that was sent to the client. And you have the history that you can add notes to and edit. You have the job description and then your checklists. If any of these have been assigned to you, you can see them here. You can just quickly check them off in the field. You have your contacts. So this is like <clears throat> the person who you're doing the work for, or if say you're out in the field on a larger job and there's a different contact for that job or multiple contacts, you can add them here. All of your booking information, job details, you can view the client and edit their information here. And then we have some other quick actions down here. You can add a note and then share that in the activity feed. You can add photos or videos like I showed you on the web version. They'll display in that job card. You can also email and text your client and say if you know a technician is running late, it quickly populates a template to let your client know that your the tech is delayed. And you have some other actions that you can do here as well. So any notifications that you receive will come here. And if we go to more, so if we go to, so this is inbox, this is on the starter plan. So any messages you receive will be sent here. You can manage them here. See invoicing details, what's been paid. Again, your tasks that have been assigned to you. You can manage your clients here, add new clients in real time. See your staff and you can access this learning roadmap so you can quickly learn how to use the app if you're struggling with a specific aspect as well as some sh Siri shortcuts, which is really handy. Uh, you know, especially if you're driving, you can quickly ask Siri to do various tasks for you and you can see some reports in the field as well. So overall, this app is pretty simple to use, very straightforward. I like the way it's designed. It's not overly complicated and they didn't try to pack too much stuff into it. It's very easy to navigate and use. All right, so I just want to quickly talk about some of the pros and cons with ServiceMate. Overall, really pleased with the software. And what's nice is both on the app and on the web version here, they have a lot of content uh, to get you set up and integrate this quickly into your business. So pretty much anything you'd want to know about the software, they have a YouTube channel where they demo various aspects and overall it's it's pretty simple and easy to use and not it doesn't seem to be over complicated which i like but some of the big pros are the features and integrations i mean you saw the list they have a lot of things you can add on and a lot that are free so um, you can really customize and tailor the experience to how your business works also as you grow you can implement new things too which will help you scale I think that enhanced job card on the dispatch board is really handy to have and it creates a really centralized location so you can go through the whole job life cycle, which makes things a lot easier. Overall, they have just a lot of functionality and things that you can customize to suit your business. I would say one of the cons with ServiceMate uh, is in regards to the client communication. I think the, the templates and the ease of communicating with their clients is, is great, but they don't provide you with like an in-house phone number to keep your personal and work phone separate. They're, they do have functionality where you can pay for ServiceMate phone. It's an add-on feature and that's good to have, but it's like, I think it's it starts off at $19 per month. 
and they have two different packages. So right off the bat, if you don't have a business phone, you'll have to use your personal cell phone to communicate with clients. And personally, I like to keep things separate. So that's something to consider. So right off the bat, ServiceMate has a lot of different packages for various size businesses. And what's great is they offer an initial free package right out of the gate. So you can start using the software, start tracking jobs and do everything that you need to do. So it includes all of the essential features and we'll get into those in a second. But I just wanted to show you the various packages, free starter, growing premium, premium plus. So I think most people will be between the free and growing plans. And there's just a lot of features. And so what's nice is you can toggle this full list of features here so you can see everything and compare all the features included for each plan. So let's go ahead and do that. But as we scroll down the page, they list all of the essentials. So the job cards that I showed earlier, scheduling, quoting, and invoicing, you can see your client history, you can get online bookings. And as I was saying earlier, you can get access to a service mate email inbox and, and then you can integrate that with an online form. So anytime a client submits that online form, you'll get an email to that inbox as an inquiry and then you can convert that inquiry into a, a job card, which kind of streamlines the process. But moving along, obviously card payments, CRM automation, accounting integrations, reporting, and then these writing assistants, as I quickly showed you in that job card when you're sending that email template. Let's compare the full list of features here. So, and again, the free plan just has all of these features out of the gate, which is huge. So this is more so for, for companies that have a lot of equipment, maybe like a pressure washing company, but for a handyman like myself, I wouldn't really need this. And also being self-employed, I don't really need any of these electronic forms. And this is, this is key too. So in the free plan, you get all of these communication features. Send reminders of, of jobs to your clients. You can message them. You can send them on the way texts. And this is an interesting feature, track my arrival. So clients can track your progress to the job. That just provides a little bit more transparency so clients can know when to expect. And that overall, you provide a better service with that feature. You can see your team in the field and you can take mobile payments, all the basics. You can send automated payment follow-ups, job templates, email and text templates. This is a really great feature because a lot of apps that I've seen need internet connectivity in order to work. And so if you're in kind of a dead zone when you pull up to a client's house and then you can't track your time right away or do what you need to do in the app, that can be really frustrating. So the ability to have offline access and then all of your updates sync when you're back in range of, of the internet, that's a really handy feature. Siri sh shortcuts. So that inbox I was talking about doesn't seem like it's available for the free option. Having a Zapier integration is great to be able to automate processes and you don't even have to pay extra for it. And so this is the ServiceMate phone that I was talking about. So if you wanted to get your own phone number, you can just jump on the free plan and start at $19 a month just for just for the phone to be able to keep your work and personal separate. And I think that's really great to have. And you can try it for three months free. All right, so hopefully this walkthrough of the pricing for ServiceMate gives you a better idea of the overall value. Hey, I hope that gave you a good idea on the features of ServiceMate and how to use the software. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, let me know if you've used the software before and what you think of it. As always, thanks for watching.